So Bad Juju is back and the quest steps to unlock them are honestly not that hard, just time consuming. So first you're going to want to head to Warner on Nessus and pick up the quest from the chest right beside him. From there on, go to your tribute hall in the triumphs tab and look at what you need to get. Once you see how much you're going to hate your life, go to the actual tribute hall and talk to Robo Callus. You'll see what you're going to be able to buy from him, like the tributes that he sells, for like a ridiculous price, most of them. And the most ridiculous price for the ghost, and then after that it's a, what is it, a sparrow? So yeah, I hate that part, but whatever, we'll get to the cool part about it in, in a bit. And in order to progress to the next uh, part of the quest, you have to actually complete one of the bounties that uh, Robo Callus has. I chose to go for the 50 precision kills and a strike, which essentially just meant I literally spawned in Lake of Shadows and just went through through the main area and just shot everything. The others aren't too hard, it's just you can't die in any of them, at least for most of them. So after you get the first bounty done, go back to Robo Callus and he'll let you in the tribute hall. This is where the bulk of the quest is going to be, so you're going to want to go to the tribute hall tab again on the triumphs and go through some of the ones that you think you can do and uh, from there you're going to go to Robo Callus again and see what you need to do and actually in order to get by those because you kind of want to buy all of them. I unfortunately don't have enough to buy some of them. I think I finished one. I think that's it though. I think the hive one I finished. But we'll get to that in a later date. So I got the bulk of the <clears throat> tributes from just playing the game, like before the uh, tribute hall came out. It's honestly not that hard. It's even better, especially since you don't need the raid armor to complete some of these, since you, you can use the menagerie armor and weapons. So. If you haven't done the raid, don't worry about it. Just get some menagerie weapons and armor and you're good to go. A very important note is to not forget to do the bounties because they reward you with boons. And basically with the boons, you can acquire discounts. So like if you do the four a week or a day, I'm sorry, then you just got 4% uh, off and it stacks up to 80. So if you're really not wanting to like kill all of the like material that you need to do then you could wait what is it like i don't even know how math but you could wait until you get 80 percent which is what i'm going to do for the ghost you will need a total of 18 tributes to get the five tributes you need for the chest in the middle so after you get all those tributes you will be at the last part of the quest honestly which is honestly probably the most fun i've had in a while in destiny so you're going to have to go to the Ascendant Realm and just go through it. Honestly, it's not that hard and there is a triumph to complete it by yourself with no deaths, which is easier than you'd think. This footage that you're actually watching right now is my second attempt since my first go I died from a random bullet going through my cover. But I almost got it on my first try. So let's start off with your loadout. You're going to want to go with something far but close range as well, like a scout and an SMG would be nice. I think the optimal loadout for me was Izanagi's Burden with the Recluse and Windigo's GL3 for heavy. Honestly, a sniper with a auto rifle and a rocket launcher would be nice, a nice choice if you don't have any of the ones I just mentioned before. So the first room you will be in is Callus's throne room. A Shrieker, Taken Thrall, Taken Scions, and a Taken Knight will be the main force you deal with in this room. So take down the Scions first, then just make sure no Taken Thrall creep up on you. Make sure to kill the Shrieker first though, since he will be annoying and if you don't prioritize him, he will destroy you. So after a bit of fighting, the Taken Knight will come out, just super him down or snipe, snipe him down, doesn't really matter. And after that, you're gonna wanna want jump down the hole. So I'm not gonna cover like the areas getting up to the like rooms because it's honestly really easy. Like just kill stuff, don't die. So just make sure to utilize cover. Don't get greedy with kills or, or peak when your health is low. So that's pretty much the main advice for that. The next room is the dog room from Leviathan. Taken Cabal Dagos, Taken Wizards, Taken Minotaurs, and a huge ass ogre will appear in this room. 
So in this one, you will need to kill Taken Orbs while killing the Taken Dogs that come out. After all of that, after all the orbs are destroyed, a big ass ogre will spawn in with wizards. So I chose to kill the wizard. Uh, the I chose to kill the ogre first. So I just put in some Izanagi shots, and then um, I used my recluse at, for the last part, and then killed the wizards with my recluse at the end. After this, go to the next area. Don't misjudge a jump and have to use your super to save yourself like I did. Be smart and make it do it slow. The last room is the Castellum from the Leviathan. And in this room, you will be fighting Taken Thrall, Vandals, Phalanxes, Scions, and a Knight. Some Cabal Loyalists and the bosses are Taken Val or Primus, Cabal, Captain, Thing, whatever. This is where it's gonna get crazy. You're gonna wanna change your loadout to a weapon that can take down Thrall fast. I have Recluse, so I was fine. Still have a sniper though, since Shriekers and Taken Snipers are here. Kill everything to feed the bad Juju Skull in the air, and then a Taken Knight will spawn in. Kill him, then repeat to kill more stuff. After all that, a fuck ton of Thrall will spawn in with the boss. Shoot it down with whatever you want. I ended up doing it with the Windigo and finished him off with my Celestial Nighthawk shot. After the boss is killed, you will get the Triumph if you went for the no death and doing it by yourself. Once the boss is down, go to the portal and congratulations, you now have a gross weapon for PvE. I will have a review for this weapon in the next video, but let me know what you guys think about this grind. Was it too much? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.